close the eyes now and breathing in and out through the nose. And just beginning to draw the breath a little bit deeper down into the lower abdomen as you inhale. And as you do that, feeling the belly expand like blowing up an imaginary balloon. And then as you exhale, feeling that imaginary balloon shrinking. And that expansion is in all directions. So forwards, sideways to the, towards the waist and the hips and back in towards the spine and the kidneys. It's also down towards the pelvic area and up towards the rib cage. So really see that as a balloon. When you blow up a balloon, it doesn't just expand in one direction. It usually expands fairly evenly in all directions. So see that in your mind's eye as you're breathing right now. And bring your mind to any areas of tension that you're aware of in your body. Anything that feels a little bit painful, uncomfortable, stiff or achy. And each time you breathe out, just say to yourself, relax, thinking of that area, softening and releasing any tension. Each time you breathe out, relax a little bit more. If you feel no tension anywhere in your body, then just have the idea of relaxing and softening the whole body. This practice of abdominal breathing is something that we do at the beginning of each Qigong session in order to bring ourselves into what's called the Qigong state. So that is the state where you feel calm, relaxed, and ready to move on to the next exercises in your practice. And gently opening the eyes so that you can see me. Now bring your palms together in front of the heart center, elbows out to the sides. So with any Qigong practice, with any movement, please don't be in pain. So if you have any issues with arms, shoulders or your neck for these exercises today, then please don't force anything, don't go any further than is necessary in order to feel just a little bit of a stretch, but never ever be in pain with Qigong practice. So from here, what I'd like you to do is just lift the palms up so that they're raised towards kind of face forehead level. So you're looking at your hands, your elbows are still out towards the sides. And now what I'd like you to do is keeping the palms together, bring the elbows down and pressing them together. And you may feel a little bit of a stretch around the back of the shoulders in that place where I showed you the zigzag pathway of the small intestine channel. And then relax, allow the elbows to come back up. Take a breath in. With the breath now, breathe out, elbows come down. Breathe in, elbows relax and come up. Breathe out, come down with the elbows. Breathe in, allow the elbows to spring back up. If you want to make it a little bit more of a stretch for yourself, then what you can do is move the hands away from your body and up a little bit higher. And now, breathing out, bringing the elbows together. Now I can really feel it in the trapezius muscles at the top of the shoulders and also around the back of the shoulder joint. Breathing in, allowing the elbows to come back up. Maybe close your eyes now and visualize the small intestine pathway zigzagging 
around the back of the shoulder and then coming up around the top of the shoulder, up the side of the neck. As you do this stretch, taking a breath in, breathing out, elbows come together. Nice and slowly, feeling into it. Breathe in, elbows come up. Twice more in your own time. And then just allow the hands to come back down by your sides, really feeling into the shoulders now, maybe giving them a little bit of movement, doing a few shoulder rolls, whatever you need to do just to ease out that stretch. But hopefully that exercise highlighted areas where you maybe are holding a little bit of tension in the shoulder blades, in the back of the shoulders and the tops in the trapezius muscles here as well. The next exercise is one which is part of the um, of some stretches called the e tie stretches, which are in my Space to Relax paid membership program. And this one is, it's a chest opener, but it's also an opener for the upper back. So really promoting the flow of chi in the chest area and in between the shoulder blades and around that small intestine channel. So for this exercise, it involves a forward bend. So if any of you suffer with osteopenia or osteoporosis, be very careful. If you've been told not to do forward bends, then please don't do this one. If any of you have any lower back pain, again, just go really easy with it, be very slow and don't go too far with this movement. So really listen to your body. Forward bends are not for everyone. So really do pay attention to what you are able for on any particular day with regards to your back. So there are a number of levels at which you can do this. So I'll show you the simplest one and you can do this from a sitting position as well if you feel that you would like to sit down. So from the, the, the easiest way to do it is just to lean forwards very slightly from the waist. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn the hands so that the palms face out and the little fingers are facing towards the front. So what you feel is a twist all the way down this arm. And some of you might feel almost a pins and needles or tingling sensation running down and all the way into the little finger. So this is your small intestine channel that you're promoting the chi flow along by doing this simple turn of the hands. So the shoulders are just coming forward very slightly and there really is no forward bend here. So this is a very safe level for those of you who have been diagnosed with osteoporosis. I'll just show you from the side what that's look, that looks like. So you're standing in your Qigong stance and all you do is just a very tiny lean forwards and then just coming forward with the shoulders. So feeling this stretch here in the back and all the way down the outside of the arm. So that's one level. The second level is to just come a little bit further down. So for anyone with high blood pressure, you never want to let your head drop below the level of your waist. So you can come forward using the hips as a hinge, coming forward and dropping down, bending the knees. You don't need to have the knees locked, but keep your head up, looking straight ahead. So there won't be any danger of any dizziness. And again, turning the hands so that the palms face outwards and the little fingers are pointing towards the front. Again, feeling this twist and a bit of a stretch in the upper back. So feeling the shoulder blades separating from each other. So again, from the side, I'll show you this. So coming forwards, hinging at the hips. So not rounding in the back. So you're not rounding like this. You're keeping the integrity of the lower back, hinging, so pushing the sit bones back as you do this, and then turning the hands, palms facing outwards, and either looking just down at the floor very gently or very slightly ahead. So that's the second level. The classical way in which to do this stretch is to drop the head all the way down. So only do this if you, if you know that you're able, 
you have the knees bent for this, so you're not stretching the hamstrings. The, the stretch and the movement you want to feel is all around the upper back area and then down the outsides of the arms. So I'll just show you this as I go forward and you'll see I go all the way down to the ground, turn the hands out and I drop my head right down. So I'm again, I'm not looking forward. There's no tension in the neck. So I'm coming forward, hinging at the hips all the way down. And then maybe shaking the head just so I know that the neck is really relaxed. Little fingers turning towards the front, palms facing to the outsides. And to come back up from this, pressing into your feet, into your knees, into your thighs, keeping the head down. Head is the last thing to come up. Arms come up. Head comes back to the top. Shoulders relaxing down. So they're the three levels. So a little lean forwards, a lean forwards from the waist, keeping the head up or all the way down. So choose the one that you prefer and that you know is the safest for you. So we're going to incorporate this with a lovely chest opener because it's really fabulous for the heart. And remember the heart is the paired organ of the small intestine. So beginning, arms by your sides. Take a breath in, backs of the hands come together and up, breathing in to the heart center. Now breathe out as though you're doing a big stretch, a big yawn, allowing the hands to stretch out to the sides, seeing your fingers in your mind's eye, seeing your fingernails get longer, keeping the head looking straight ahead, not dropping the neck and the head back. Breathing in, thinking of gathering lovely chi or energy from the outside, down into Dantian. And from here now, you're either going to lean or hinge or go all the way down, back to the hands together, breathing out all the way down if you're able. And then coming back up, breathing in, all the way up to the heart center, breathing out, seeing the chi flowing from the heart, out through both arms and hands, out all of your fingernails, smiling, breathing in, gathering chi from the outside to nourish and energize your body and mind. Breathing out, diving down, back to the hands together, like you're diving into a swimming pool. All the way down, knees are bent, head is loose and relaxed. Breathing in to come up. Breathing out, lovely chest opening stretch. In your mind's eye, see the chi running down through both arms and out of all of your fingertips, radiating far away from your hands. Breathing in, gathering in, lovely chi, dropping in the shoulders. Backs of the hands come together, breathing out and down. Feeling that stretch in the upper back. And in this position, you could kind of do a little bit of a shake or a wiggle around as long as you're comfortable, just to ease out any tension. Breathing in, coming up, pushing into the feet. Head is the last thing to come up. And stretching, breathing out. And two more in your own time. And then breathing in to finish, gathering chi in. And allowing the palms to face towards 
the floor as you press down, dropping the shoulders and the elbows and the hands, and then coming to rest with one palm over the lower belly, the other palm directly on top of that. Closing the eyes and smiling, feeling into your body, observing how it feels, especially the arms, the upper back, the neck and shoulders. And also assessing how you are in your mind. Were your thoughts really busy during that practice? Were you thinking of what to have for dinner this evening or what to put on the shopping list? Or were you really in the moment and focusing on the breath, the mind and the movement, which are the three elements of your Qigong practice? Still with the eyes closed now, bring the hands together, rubbing the palms until they get really, really hot. And then placing one palm over each eye, fingers facing up towards the ceiling, feeling the heat from the palms going into your eyes, through the back of the eyes to nourish the mind. And as that heat dissipates, give your face a little massage, a little face wash, in order to bring yourself back into the room, gently opening the eyes as you do so, hands down by your sides. <laughs>